Well, hello, fellow Star Trek fans. Thank you for joining me in, an, in another video. Um, I got something really cool to show you today. This is going to be AMT's first release, the original release of the Klingon Battle Cruiser. And you can see it's the Alien Battle Cruiser. And you can see a good shot of the Klingon ship. And what makes this one special is that this one has the lights. It's included. The lights are included in the kit. And of course, they don't include lights in the Klingon kit. They only did it for one release. And that's this model kit right here. Um, as with the S951-250, the USS Enterprise, this one is the same. This is the... Let me show you the... The S952-250. Whereas the, the Enterprise is S951-250, and it's the Enterprise that has the lights. And this is the Klingon Battlecruiser that has the lights. And with um, the video that I made with the Enterprise, you could tell the difference by the As Seen on NBC TV um, logo on the side of the box near Captain Kirk. With this model kit, the easiest way to tell the difference between the one that's more common and the rarer one, this being the rarer one, there's no Enterprise on it. What they did was they've got a planet, um, looks like Saturn, with the rings, and that's on the box. And the Klingon ship is shooting in front of it. Whereas the remake, well after this, all the other releases had the Enterprise over here, and the ship was firing at the Enterprise. And I can show you, because I got a new one. This is in the collector's box. As you can see, Make sure there's no glare. The ship is actually firing at the Enterprise. And of course this is the release, the newer release of it. But that's another thing. I just wanted to show you the illustration. I was very excited to get this. Um, on eBay, the, they have a couple of these that are still in the plastic wrap, and they're just ridiculously expensive, you know, north of $200. This one, as the, um, when I was going through the list, this one was ending, the auction, and I saw it was at $18. I make a long story short, I ended up getting this one for $20, plus $8 or $9 to ship. And I was ecstatic, because it's just, it's rare. Like I said, you don't see very often the boxes with the lighting kit and with the planet Saturn on the box. Like I said, AMT re-released the ship. And this is the, the round two issue of the AMT. Um, AMT, when they were purchased by Ertl, also released it for Star Trek The Motion Picture. But as far as being the same actual casting, um, I believe it's, I don't know, there are differences. I don't think it's the same, but I don't know because I've never actually opened this kit to look at the pieces. So without further ado, let me show you guys what's in the box. It's just so awesome that I got a chance to get this. You guys are going to love what's in here. Like I said, you got the As Seen on NBC TV. Kind of like what the Enterprise has. And you've got the Enterprise with the Klingon Cruiser. AMT Corporation, Troy, Michigan. With the AMT. And notice how they're calling it the Alien Battle Cruiser, Klingon. You see, on either end of the box, you've got the box art. Again, you've got planet Saturn, and there's no Enterprise, and the ship is not firing at it, but it's firing forward or down. And you can see the kit number beneath the logo. And another way to tell that this is the one with the lights, obviously it says it. Let me show you guys. Let me see if you can get that. I'll put pictures up of everything. Um, featuring unique demon with a deep space design, colorful Klingon decals, display option, 
Space Base or Skyhook Mount. Forward control and cruise quarters fully illuminated by operating lights. I was thinking about making this kit to see what it would look like. A part of me wants to just keep it intact. I mean, it is open. It's just so cool. Okay, let me show you guys what's on the inside now. Open it up. Put that over there so you guys can... I don't know if you can still see the... Let me adjust the camera just a bit. There we go. Alright, you guys can see this first thing is the body. You can notice the color too. The color is it's molded in a gray. Battleship gray. Kind of like, well, not quite what's on the box. It's more of a bluish, but it's not white. And you've got the, the top part of the hood of the main body. The detail's pretty good. Remember, this was issued in 1966, and the, um, the detail on this is really, really cool. Let me show you the bottom. And you can see where the, uh, the electronics are going to go. You can see the little cradle for the batteries. And the metal pieces will go to hook up the switches and switch on the bottom. You can see the... bottom piece. Well, because it's so old, it's been bounced around a lot. A lot of the pieces came off the trees. So let me show you the, the chrome parts. There are a couple pieces off, but most of the parts are on the chrome section. Little hoods and the filters and the little grid panels for the cooling systems. Um, let's see, well, let me show you the, the bottom, well actually let me show you the main body first. This would be the, let me see, the starboard side, and you can see the, the holes that are made for the lights to shine through. Maybe the starboard side of the stem leading to the bridge. And here's the port side. Again you can see the the holes are really clean. Remember this came out in 1966 so I think it's pretty good condition considering. Um, fitting them together you can see where the the wires will come out because this is going to be lit. And now I can show you the bottom part of the bridge section and this goes on like that. <clears throat> I'll show you the top part with the bridge section. Let me see if I can fit that together for you guys without it. Klingon Battle Cruiser. Red alert, shields up. This is not a drill. All hands to battle stations. Anyway, this is the part. Let's see, what else do we got? We got the warp drives, or well, the nacelle pieces. And again, the, um, the detail on this is really, really nice. Again, and get the outside part. Again, I think this is the um, starboard side nacelle, warp nacelle. And these pieces, let's see, together. This would be the port. It's not glued, I just fit it together just to show you. 
court and sell. Again, the detail is really good on these parts. And the plastic is nice and thick. They don't make them like that anymore. And if you notice now, the plastic is so much thinner. Now, what else we got here? Most of the parts are still on this tree. You got the hood. That'll go on with the cooling parts, the cooling fans that go on the sides on top of the primary hull. I think these go on to the, the tops near the bridge section. I think this is the impulse engines. What else we got? <clears throat> For the most part, everything is off the trees. That's the only thing on this part, on this tree. Um, this tree, again, has a couple of pieces. And these are really small little pieces over here. And let me show you the electronics. I put them in, um, in a baggie just to keep them safe. You got the lights. You can see there are oh, how many do they look like? Two. Yep, two light bulbs. And there's a screw. And you can see all the copper pieces where the batteries go, the contacts. And those go into the bottom of the primary hull. And again, I'll put pictures up to show you more detail. So, there's that. And all the pieces that were loose, I also put into a, a baggie. Just like the cooling grills. And the top of the hood. Things like that. And it's got a couple of the, um, the green pieces that came off the tree. You can see that. Let me see if I can find the green tree to show you guys. I'll show you the base. The base is clear. And again, like the Enterprise that started out, the base being clear in the first issues, and then eventually over time, they went to a more solid color that were not transparent. You can see is like the Enterprise, it's got the same V shape and the same the same kind of fit, that little V fit where it goes in. Pretty cool. Uh, let me see, where is the the little green? Ah, oh, here it is. It's hard to find. It was in the corner. So here's the tree that has the green pieces on it. And I think this is for the sides of the ship, of the bridge area right here. The little green grills. It'll probably look pretty cool when it's all done and lit up. I haven't been able to find, at least on YouTube with my search, I haven't been able to find one of these that has been um, put together. Like I said, I might do this one. I'm not sure. And the rest of the pieces are just the trees where all the plastic came off. Like you saw on the box, it says a special offer. And um, this is in there. This is that special offer. Direct from Star Trek. Free catalog of authentic Star Trek souvenirs. Actual television scripts. Official Star Trek guide tells how to write a script for Star Trek. Decals, no paper, bumper sticker, film clips, actual film from the TV show, and more. Fill out this form and mail to, and it gives the address. Star Trek Enterprise, Department R, P.O. Box 38492, Hollywood, California, 90038. And you can feel, by its age, this is a very old and brittle piece of paper. And again, I'll put a picture up for you. What else we got in here? We got the instructions. Ooh, again, this is very fragile feeling. 
can see, AMT, Klingon Space Cruiser Battleship. Let me open it up for you. And as with the Enterprise one, it's got the little section. Read this before you begin. Um, and the first assembly, um, this is really cool because I, I just don't get to see this very often. You can see where the wires go. You pass the wires through. And where the lights are going to go. Again, I'll put up some pictures. Excuse my hand shaking. I'm trying to hold it still to show you guys. This is just so cool. And that green piece I was showing you to go on top, the bridge area. You can see where the, the light bulbs are going to go through. That'll look pretty cool. So it's just the bridge area in the front of the ship that's going to be lit. There's nothing in the secondary hull. I'm flipping it over, you got assembly two. And it shows you an alternate display method. You can either put it on the stand or you can use a hook and suspend it. It shows you how to put the wires in. Actually, this is the wiring diagram. Yeah, I thought I was missing the switch, but I guess not. It's actually a plastic piece that fits in. So I got the one screw, I got the wires, the light bulb, and all the four copper pieces and the rest of the plastic pieces that form the switch. So, yeah, I don't know. I got I got everything I need to to build this kit, and that would be pretty cool. I don't know. I may, I may not. It shows you the construction of the base as well. Yes really cool really exciting to find this I just I, I've never seen these before and that's the instruction sheet again it's very fragile it's well, 1966 so it's actually older than I am and this is this is really cool this is some kind of AMT um, catalog and it shows you the the Enterprise and that's the model kit that I had talked about in my previous video the USS Enterprise spaceship as seen on NBC featuring the operating lights and if it doesn't say as seen on NBC it does not have the lights it also, sh also shows you the um, airplane kits, a few of them, that a AMT produces. Again, I'll put pictures up. And this is really cool. This is really old. And this shows you a lot of the, uh, the models, the cars. The Falcon, the Thunderbird. And again, this is, I'm going to put pictures up to show you guys, but this is, um, you really feel the age with this. Shows you more of the cars, the funny cars, and then it shows you some of the, the sprays and the colors. More of the model kits. Automotive illustrations, paint by number, watercolor sets. Yeah, these are just, this is just an amazing um, find. So cool. And again, it shows you more of the, the trophy kits, what's available. And 125 scale. The mini trophies. And then it'll show you on this side the um, how they're made, the engineering, art department, the model shop, 
tool and die shop, molding process to plating, the assembly department and the quality control. Torino. When I was young, I, my first vehicle that, um, that I had purchased was a Ford Grand Torino. It was a 76. This one's a Torino GT, 68, a lot older. Shows you the Camaro, the Cougar, Riviera. The different months have different uh, model kits. It shows you the AMT 68 Hobby Expo that's coming up. <laughs> that would be coming up, considering it was 1966 when it came out. In the AMT logo in gold. So that's this is really cool. And that's um, that's everything that's in the box. So there you have it. That's the 1966. Um, it's not really an unboxing because it was already the seal was broken and it was open and um, a lot of the stuff and a lot of the parts were loose. But I just I'm just just very excited to show this to you guys, showing the rarity of it. And again, in the newer ones, it says Star Trek going down the side, not Klingon. And again, the the as seen on Star Trek is still um, the later. Releases, I think, is still on, but the is seen on NBC. I don't believe that that's on it. Um, I can't really go by this one. Maybe, maybe I can. Let's see. This one has features also, but nothing with lights. Metal support rod, the base. There's a uh, core. And he's not on the original box. At least not the one that I've got. Let me show you the um, the inside of this one, just to kind of give you. This one is molded in a different color. It's more of the bluish um, kind. You can see, and the nacelles. It looks to be about the same size. Well, let me do a side-by-side -side comparison for you. Excuse me. So here's the 2011 release. And this is the 1966 release. The top. I think the 1966 release looks to have more detail on it. it has the the rib strip whereas the new one does not. Showing you the bottom. Again, it's very plain whereas the 1966 one, well, there's the opening for the switch and the stand where the newer one has a support rod with the base. And you can see that the 1966 release actually had the the grill engraved into the plastic, molded directly in, whereas the, the newer release is a separate piece that goes on. And again, I think there's just more detail on the 1966 version. Again, this one is still sealed. I'm not going to open this one up, but I'll show you the bridge area. Let me see, see if you can see the bridge, the bridge part. All right, where's the bridge part? Here, yeah, here it is. I think that's um, that pretty much looks the same. Yeah, that's that's pretty pretty much the same piece. But there are a lot of differences in the new release from the original release. Obviously, the biggest one um, is the fact that the new release does not have lights, and the uh, original release does. 
and this was the the one where it's actually I don't know if you can see that because of the glare the Klingon battlecruiser featuring featuring newly accurized parts so again to recap the later releases of the more common kit has the Enterprise on the cover and the Klingon ship is firing at the Enterprise, and the Enterprise is firing back and missing. You can see there's no planet. Whereas this one actually shows the planet Jupiter, and there is no USS Enterprise, and the Klingon ship is firing forward. And the sides will say Klingon, and won't necessarily say, say Star Trek. So that, in a nutshell, is a 1966 original release of the AMT kit number S952-250. Klingon Alien Battle Cruiser. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed uh, talking about this kit. Till next time, thanks for watching.